Alabama has some of the best hunting in the country. Small game, deer, and turkey are all very abundant. And Alabama has hundreds of thousands of acres open to public hunting. To support these activities, the Alabama Department of Conservation has provided unstaffed shooting ranges throughout the state. For everyone to use these ranges, you must possess a current hunting, wildlife management, or wildlife heritage license. A list of these ranges can be found on our website at OutdoorAlabama.com. These ranges are designed with berms and backstops to provide safe shooting and are periodically checked for maintenance and safety. Everyone that uses these ranges is expected to take personal responsibility for firearm safety, coordinating ceasefires, and generally ensuring a safe and fun environment at the range. Although there might be some slight differences in these ranges, they do have a couple common features. They have a short range for handguns and a long range for rifles. Of course, this is the firing line equipped with shooting benches. When the range is hot or the commence fire command is given, it is never safe to be on the downrange side of the shooting line. In this video, we're gonna talk about range etiquette, the do's and don'ts of shooting at a firing range, and some tips for communicating with your fellow shooters. Remember, as the user, you are helping to ensure a safe range operation. So be sure to familiarize yourself with the range rules before you start shooting. Let's start with basic gun handling. While shooting is generally a very safe sport, loaded firearms demand concentration and respect. There is always the potential for danger. Following these simple rules will minimize that risk. Always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. At the range, that means either up or pointed down range. Treat every firearm as if it were loaded. Never point a firearm at anything you don't intend to shoot. Keep your safety on and your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot. There are several rules that we expect everyone to follow at the range. These aren't just rules to have rules. The department wants to ensure that everyone has a safe and fun shooting environment. These rules are for the safety of you and the other shooters at the range. Always handle your firearm in a safe and responsible manner. Ear and eye protection are strongly recommended. Use only stationary paper targets, self-healing, or metal automatic reset targets. Targets must be placed so that the shot will impact the bottom five feet of embankment. No drugs or alcohol are permitted at the range. If you are under the influence, you are simply not welcome. One of the most critical safety issues at a shooting range is the cease fire. Shooting at an unstaffed range is not an individual activity, it's a group activity. When a ceasefire is called, all shooting at the range must stop. It is important to talk to your fellow shooters about these ceasefire intervals. The most important thing to remember is that safe shooting at an unstaffed range depends on you, the user. You are the staff and unstaffed. It is essential that you communicate with your fellow shooters about these ceasefire intervals. When a range is in ceasefire, the following strict protocols must apply. Ceasefire. After the ceasefire is called, all shooting must stop immediately. Firearms must be unloaded with the action locked open. Place all firearms on the shooting table and step away from the table. No one should touch a firearm during a ceasefire. All shooters needing to adjust or replace targets should go downrange together and return together. The announcement of commence fire or the range is hot should be clear and definitive. There should be no doubt whether or not it's okay to shoot your firearm. Never step in front of the firing line before a ceasefire is called. Anyone can call a ceasefire at any time if they witness unsafe activity. Never, never shoot while someone is in front of the shooting line. The term range etiquette covers a lot of ground, from basic gun handling skills to ceasefire protocols. If there are other people at the range, this might be a simple task to communicate with them your common ceasefire protocols. If there are 12 different groups shooting, it might be a lot more difficult. The most important thing to remember is to know when a ceasefire is called and for everyone to go down range at the same time. Here are some tips. If the range is full of shooters, take your position at the shooting bench and wait for the next ceasefire to be called. Do not interfere with other shooters. Though you will need to communicate for safety reasons, wait until the appropriate time. 
Conversely, if you are shooting and the other party approaches the firing line, it is the shooter's responsibility to stop firing and discuss your ceasefire protocols with your new partners. Remember, shooting at a public range is a community activity. Everyone has the right to shoot and it is everyone's responsibility to do it safely. Shooting can be a safe activity and no one wants to discourage people from enjoying themselves and having fun. But any activity with a loaded firearm needs to be treated with caution and respect. Horseplay of any kind cannot be tolerated at the range. If you feel as if someone is operating in an unsafe manner at one of our public shooting ranges, do not hesitate to contact a conservation officer. And don't forget, the main rule after you follow all the above is to have fun. These ranges are here for you to learn, educate, and hone in your skills. Enjoy them and do it safely. And when you're finished shooting, it goes without saying you need to remove your paper targets and pick up your brass. But also be aware of trash that other shooters may have left behind. These facilities are here for you. The only way we can keep them up is if everybody takes responsibility for maintaining them. And again, enjoy your day at the range. They are here for you. Have a safe and fun shooting experience.